So we just finished doing all the cover stitch videos, and now I want to make sure that you know how to get it back from cover stitch to serging. So first off, you want to turn this all the way back to A, and here we go. And so first off, you want to turn this all the way back to A. Next, the needles and threads are going to all need to be removed and reset. So the needles from the front are going to need to come out of their sets and then put back into the set A and B back in the back. So next, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's take this little um, front part off. So this part here, we're going to just lift up. It's right behind this here. Lift up and pull towards you and replace it with the regular knife cover. And that just slips right in down and kind of clicks. There's kind of three points. You just all have to get together to make that fit. You need to re-engage your knife. Push your stitch finger from R to N. And then take your cover stitch to serge your option here. You need to turn the hand wheel so it actually is lined up. So there's kind of this little mouth that's going to come up. And once that's up, then this part can come in and sit into its place. So come right up here. And then once that's lined up, maybe move it just a little bit more. And then as you put it in, then you see S, which means your upper looper is now re-engaged and ready to be threaded. Our thread that was down here in the cover stitch area with the navy blue threading, that is no longer in that section. So we'll be unthreading that and re-threading it back into the light blue. So needles are going to get moved back next. And then we're going to re-thread. We're going to go ahead and re-thread back into a four thread setup. Also, once you take these needles out, go, do tighten these all the way down as, so those screws don't get loosened while they are not in use. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with needles back into position. And then those go straight up. Remember, we probably tighten those as well. So loosen both so that needle can come and get as high as it needs to go. Sometimes I loosen both of them and that actually makes it uh, uh, open up that area perfectly. Notice I'm using the little uh, holder for our needle threader and that will slide those right on up. Kind of almost keep the flat side to the back and then I'm checking the height. Right now this is the A needle and by loosening a little bit more it went up a little higher. The A needle or the left needle is always higher than the right one so they always are at an angle. So now I'm going to go ahead and re-thread the machine. I do have the needles technically threaded, so I'm going to leave those off to the side. Remember that order we started off with? We do need to thread the upper looper first, then the lower looper, and then needles go in last.